Okay, so we're back again with another episode of the horror section and uh, we keep on it locked down real. So we're going to talk about the host um, or host as it actually is, but I keep calling it the host. <laughs> um, so we've got another special guest. Well, I say a special guest, a returning special guest of Eamon. Hi. Hi, Eamon. Hello. Hi, Eamon. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. How are you doing? I'm all right. Um, feeling ever so slightly nervous because we're on Zoom talking about a horror film on Zoom. Yeah. I, mm, I, oh, feel, yeah. Like, I feel like we're tempting fate a little Are bit. we getting, like, meta? I'm not sure. I'm not I lost sure. track when I was trying to tweet about it. I was like, a Zoom chat about a Zoom chat about a film and a Zoom Zoomception. Chat? Zoomception. Zoomception yeah. is what's happening. Yeah. Yep. But at least yep, yep, we're not yep. doing it at night. If we were doing That's it at true. night, this would be because we don't have a death wish. But also, yeah. at least none of us have suggested a séance because well, that would have here's been. Well, my first suggestion. No, no. <laughs> uh-uh. End call. Uh-uh. No. No, no. Not today, Satan. Not, not today. today. No way. We would all be safe because we would not do that kind of crazy shit. I mean, funnily I enough, when when rewatching this last night, I said to my best friend like. It's fine. We know we're safe because we're not stupid enough to do a fucking seance over yeah. Zoom. That's exactly. <laughs> I was like, I will never exactly ask you to do to this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I like this because I can be like, I can enjoy the the tension and the fear because I know that it's never going to happen to me because I'm never going to like join a seance. Yeah, exactly. The one thing I'm that like my mom it. always said when I was like growing up, she was like, you know, don't do this thing, don't do that oh. thing, and one of the main ones was like, if anyone ever gets a Ouija board out, you can just ring me up at any time and I'll come and pick you up. So I was like, okay. My mum said the exact same thing. This is never going to ever in my life. And it did twice. And really? Twice I left. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I had goth friends growing up. So they're all like, let's make it out of a Scrabble board. And I was like, I'm going home <laughs> now. Bye-bye. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom said the same. She was like, "Don't take pills from people you don't know. Don't get into yeah. cocaine because it costs too much. And your nose is too big. And don't do Ouija boards." <laughs> your nose is lovely. That don't listen just, to it. Wow, is it? Yeah. Is a set of life rules that I never thought. I think so. Together. I feel like your mom and my mom maybe went to the same seance that went wrong. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now that's yeah. a movie I want to see. That's the origin yeah. story right there. Yeah. <laughs> Mama J, Mama D, out on the seance. Yeah. The Valkyrie's origins. That'd be amazing. So yeah. good. I now need a my com- mom. I now need a yeah. comic book about that. My mom does listen to this podcast sometimes, and she told me it was fine. <laughs> I was like, "All right, yeah." She was like, "I don't really get it, but it's fine." It's fine. I was like, Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Your mom's heard me say some bad, do, bad stuff. Yeah, I do worry which episode she's like listening to. Anyway, we digress. Um. <laughs> So we're talking about host. Okay. So first of all, first impressions. I love it. What did we think? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it's a really positive um, opinion from all of us. I think really. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also really appreciated that it's under an hour. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Like, it it's no fuss, no muss. There's <clears throat> there's still a little bit of setup, but it doesn't take ages to get going but it doesn't drag things out either but it doesn't yeah. but again the hour doesn't feel like an hour either in the best way possible yeah yeah it's like it feels a bit longer but it doesn't feel like you're getting it's dragging on like you say so mm. it's like you enjoy every minute of it absolutely mm. um this it's super thematic isn't it it's the length of a zoom call and yeah I'm a staunch believer in the fact that the absolute sweet spot for movies is an hour and a half. Mm. There was people got into this habit, certain directors, of being like, "Oh, I'm gonna make a film that's like seventeen hours long, yeah. or like two plus hours long." Mm. Calm down, Mister Nolan. Yeah. Just make <laughs> it an hour and a half. Hey, uh, come on now. Let's not pick Ooh. on Nolan. Oh, um, I, I'll, I'll pick on more if you want me to. <laughs> no, I, oh, I like, she started. <laughs> she fiery today. But I think <laughs> hour and a half, perfect length for a film. And I've always said that. I'm a big, I'm a big yeah. believer in that. Like, yeah. I don't mind if you want to put it in two parts. Because I, I can't sit for three hours. I need a wee and I need snacks. <laughs> so an hour and a half is perfect. 
I, I am a sucker for a long film. Even if you double build them, um, you know, with like an ice cream break in the middle. Ice cream mm. break in the middle. Like or a with a little theater. tray and a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, showing our age there completely, by the way. I yeah. wouldn't know. Neither would you, Eamon. You're, yeah. How old are you? You're like I'm 26. 27? I'm 26. Yeah, so you the, no, children. No, the cinema that, the cinema that we had back yeah. home was had intermissions because I vividly be, remember being annoyed watching the Flintstones movie <laughs> as a oh, child nice. and they stopped it and I was like, I was into that. I yeah. feel robbed as a fellow 26 yeah. year old that we never um, had intermissions. Small, smaller sort of franchises still did the ushers, uh, the curtains as well. Nice. Um, uh, we had a couple. But if you only had like an Odeon, you wouldn't have had it. Yeah. There's a couple that still do it as well. A couple, um, the smaller ones that are still going. Mm. That's so cute. Mm. But anyway, host. <laughs> instead, host. Of, instead of our cinema preferences as children. Um... <laughs> yeah. Instead of nostalgia time. Um, host. So it's directed by Rob Savage. Mm. Uh, what I thought was really interesting was that he did a video in lockdown for all of his friends where he like did a prank that he went into his loft to sort of find out what all the creepy scratchy noises was which first of all i would never do um <laughs> i would just be like oh well i've lived in my loft now um and then he he'd like this creepy little demon kid jumped out at him mm. no like wreck you know no. and sent it to all his friends um which i think is a really great thing to do during lockdown when everybody's kind of tense already <laughs> I think I it, like that. I, I do like that. That's where it all came from. Um, yeah. Of playing a joke on your mates, I think that's just brilliant, and it shows just how creative that whole team is as well. Um, yeah. Especially when you look at like how they actually made this. Like they did workshops to teach the actresses how to do like their own practical effects. I mm. love that. That's so much yeah. fun. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, such a, like because it's such a small team as well. Yeah. Like you say, mm. like it's really like all hands on deck. Everybody's getting involved, <clears throat> and I think that'll help for the films. Like, um, like in the in the future, we're not gonna look back and be like, oh, look at that weird CGI. Mm. Like, it's got the charm of the Blair Witch in its like footage, but also in its like simplicity. If that makes mm. sense. Yeah. It's, yeah. the, it's the same way, like, obviously it is very different, but, like, Evil Dead back in the 80s was obviously very much yeah. nitty-gritty. Everybody's making their own props and, and shit. Yeah. And that kind of it feels like a modern version of that, if that makes yeah. sense, that sort of method yeah. of filmmaking. Um, and yeah. I just loved it. It's like, for, you know, example, the ending, when Emma falls into the bench, I was like, holy Spoiler shit! Alert. They yeah. fucking had to find a way of doing mm-hmm. that. It was so impressive. Yeah. So impressive. Yeah, I think so. And I think it really helps that um, the actresses used their own names. We were talking about this just before we started recording. Um, that it sort of feeds into the found footage thing, but also just the idea of like you and a bunch of people maybe you haven't seen in a while doing the zoom call or your work mates and stuff. Cause I think I, I think I probably did probably 60 when we were like in lockdown version one. Um, one point we out. had 1.0. There was quizzes. Mm. There was all sorts. There was, there was like me and jo- there was podcasts like galore. <laughs> Christ. We recorded like five a week at one point because we had nothing to do yeah <laughs> there's only so much of like Fortnite that i can play that we just <laughs> had to record after a while um and i like that i think like it's almost you get something worthwhile from i know like there's obviously other things worthwhile from being locked out like mm. everybody staying healthy but you also get <laughs> like a nice bit of something to watch from it mm. i thought it was really cathartic in terms, mm, but, yeah. of, in terms of lockdown um yeah it... That was exactly this roundabout bullshit I was trying to talk about. Like, thank you for summing that up. Nice and concise. You are welcome. Um, thank you. I just, yeah, it kind of, re- like say, released that tension of yeah. we've all been through, we've all had this shared experience as a bloody society of mm-hmm. doing all these calls and stuff. And I just, I do love the sort of the genre twist and 
kind of commentary on that. Um, yeah. And I, I, I don't know, it's kind of, it was weird hearing them say lockdown and quarantine and corona and having masks mm-hmm. on. And it was just felt it, it, very immersive. Um, mm. I loved it. I could, I could see how some people would be a little bit like, ooh, a bit too close yeah. and a bit too soon. But I think it, it sort of just hit that sweet spot perfectly. Yeah, so I it's think not so. like the ghost of Corona coming again, <laughs> no, is it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, no. I, I think it's really, really like it's a it's a very contemporary anchor, and I'd be really intrigued to watch this. <laughs> not to jinx anything, watch this in a couple of years when yeah. crossed, everything's kind of a bit less mm. terrible. <laughs> yeah. And see if it still holds that same kind of like you said, that that immersive feeling. Yeah. Or would it be like, oh, nostalgia. Remember having yeah. to like frantically look like... for a mask before you go and check on your friend who you think might be dead? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The good Those days. good old days of The good old days. Uh, March yeah, 2020. Like, like you say, it's sort of like um, the fact that everybody's experienced like a Zoom call now this year. Mm. Like levels the playing field for everyone so they can like they have a relatable experience to what they're... Not necessarily everything that they're seeing on screen because we don't do seances. Um, but, like, some horror films, I'm like, oh, that's fine because I'm never going to go into an abandoned asylum. Yes. So I'm never going to get chased and I'm not going to go to a creepy summer camp. You miss it. Or... Um, I think I'm fine. Thank you. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I think it, it's that sort of, like, almost... Um, like leveled starting off point that everyone can like experience mm. together that I really liked. Mm. Um and I liked that it sort of reminded me of Ghost Watch. Did you guys ever you yeah. guys watch Ghost Watch? Yeah. I do know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, and it's got that sort of like it's such a simple like common premise now mm. that everybody's got on the computer, everybody's used. They have the perfect layout that looks like a Zoom call. It literally looks like what I'm looking at right now with you guys. <laughs> and Ooh. you could almost, like, if you were sort of to forget what you were watching or maybe you didn't know what you were watching, you could be like, oh, are we on the wrong screen? Like, mm. yeah. this isn't what a film looks like. And I like that it uses, like, those visual cues, like, on screen. Mm. Yeah. Um, like, even the... Again, as we're talking about it, it's kind of weird because it just happened like how the the screen highlights when somebody's talking mm. yeah and when it was doing that when you know weird shit was going on in the kitchen yeah for example absolutely yeah because it can like direct your eye yeah where normal camera angles would have to do that and while we're working mm. with really fixed camera angles um and like as well i think having it on a zoom call puts it really interesting in terms of like a film perspective because it doesn't have a soundtrack yeah. It doesn't have... And ha- soundtrack in horror is so integral. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't yeah. have, like, a jump scare noise as something leaps out. It's mm-hmm. just the noise of whatever it is, rather than the, you know, s- stupidly loud strings or, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. I just, I kind of really enjoyed that because it put me in a very, puts you in a very vulnerable position because you have, you're sort of, as a horror fan, you're kind of looking out for those, yeah. you know... The score's slightly starting to ramp up a bit. Mm-hmm. The camera's doing something different. Uh, perfect yeah, example. Yeah, loads of lingering shots. Yeah, the Jaws, perfect example slightly for me over there. is the the selfie stick on the phone. Mm. When she puts it in the in the loft and just sort of turns it around, and all you see is the yeah. pair of legs. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like with those fixed camera angles, they're still able to kind of include. Who was saying this uh, kind of before that? intermediality between all the horror films and there's those different I've been writing a lot of essays lately like, yeah. um, <laughs> lots of cues so like you said you've got a fixed camera angle but mm-hmm. they still really play with that kind of negative space mm-hmm. so they'll have that bit when she's in the kitchen or the bit with the door behind her yeah, and you know if you've watched horror like, films you're like yeah. oh, keep an eye on the door keep an yeah. eye on that space in the kitchen and but then like you said someone else will talk and something else will happen. It's. I think it was done masterfully mm-hmm. in that respect. There's yeah. lots of cues from other things that you can call upon, but you don't know where to look because you've got four people yeah. that you're concentrating on that aren't in one location. Mm-hmm. They're t- 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 
And there's Sorry. a lot of like background details, like you say. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a moment, I think it's Rodina, um, and she's sort of walking away from the kitchen, I think. And you can see Jack, the demon, whatever you want to call it, hanging in the background just for yeah. a split second. And me and Dan were like, no, 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 no. Just, is it possibly the scariest film I've watched this year? Absolutely. <laughs> mm, interesting. I, the thing for me. I jumped so much in this. Oh, was, I was like fully under the duvet. Oh, oh yeah. It was very much <laughs> phone up, like this. Up until they committed what I think, you know what I'm going to say. Heaven I do. Gonna say. Yeah. Don't ever show me the scary thing. Yeah. Because it ruins it. Yeah. I did not like that we saw it okay. because as yeah. soon as I saw it, I wasn't scared anymore. Yeah. I was really? like, oh, like, okay, yeah, it looks look like me like... in the morning sound. Yeah, if you I look was... like Sinister, <laughs> Sinister, it was recently claimed to be scientifically mm. like the scariest film ever, which is a lie. Science is wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, um, wrong. it's a good film. It's not, it's fine. I watched but... it the other day, in fact, and I was like, okay. Um, but it's just like some dusty kids at the end. Like that's all <laughs> it is, and you're like, oh, all right. and like, and also, and like, Mister, like, I'm, I'm sure Scott Derrickson really appreciates you calling yeah. them dusty Sorry. kids. Sorry, I mean, kid. No Sorry, line. Scott. But you're dusty kids, and Mister Boogie, who I couldn't stop singing that. Um, yes, sir, I can boogie about. I was like, I'm Fantastic. lost. It's gone. And um, Insidious. You look at like Dark Mall, and then I'm like, I'm out of this. And it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, out yeah. of this. I'm done. The one that I hate to say does it really badly is the ritual. Like, yeah, the ritual is incredible. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And until I you love see it, the concept of how massive this creature or god or whatever it is is, and like, I love. There's like a shot where it looks like a tree is moving a little bit, but it's like its leg, and I'm like, oh my god. And then you look at it, and it's just like. A little face and loads of little hands and some arms, and I'm like, mm. Te- okay. Tease it, show me little snippets. Yeah, don't want to see but the face. It's it's the whole nature. No, yeah. she's, if she sounds like a dickhead, stop her. It's the whole theory of the sublime in the yeah. the obscureness of it. Mm-hmm. Obscureness, no obscurity of it, and it's Jacques Derrida. Elle se montre. Mantra, monster. If you see it, it's not a monster anymore because you see it. Yep. It's not unknown. It's not scary. It's yep. just there. Yeah. I think that film would have been scarier if you never saw the the demon dude. Yeah, because I think the one I like, the one that sort of freaked me out the most, and I can't think um, who it was, but it was the one where she looped herself in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming in and out. <laughs> That and then every right now and then it was just like flashes of her and the bloody face and stuff. Yeah, because she's, that was she's spot slapping on. her head into, or it's, into it's the, banging yeah. her head into the desk, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I can relate, you know what I mean? Oh, but like, same. <laughs> big same. <laughs> but like, yeah, that one for me was like definitely like the scariest um, yeah. end. I think, um, I don't know, because I, I actually really like seeing it. I really like seeing the yeah. the weird little face that you know what i mean the one that pops up um i think it is in the loft isn't it um mm. yeah it's no it's the no isn't the it that loft. fella's house or is that after i can't remember off the top of my head but point, when you see yeah. it and it's kind of like crouched like really close to the screen um yes i know what you and it sort of like screams um ha oh boy uh look i'm not claiming to be like I'm a horror aficionado. I don't jump at anything. <laughs> I jump at everything. I honestly screamed. See, I was like, oh, okay. Aww. Dissipated the, the fear for me. If it's, yeah. if it's got a I loud really noise it, with it, but... if it's got a loud noise with it, I'm, I'm yeah, gone. Like, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm the door knocks. Just like, no, no. Yeah. I don't think anything has made me jump as much as Invisible Man made me jump. Ooh, that had me like so on the edge yeah, when yeah, she yeah. kicks the dog bowl at the beginning i was almost out we of were the in cinema. the cinema literally we like were. gripping onto each other <laughs> i was Terrifying. so nearly just like out my seat out the screen i'm going that's restaurant too much. scene though Can't cope. yes oh my god Holy the shock shit. more than anything you just that like... use of space he, yeah. again like 
those wide shots and you're scouring every inch yeah. of what you can see to be like, right, there's got to be a clue. There's got to be something. There's got to yeah, be... The only thing was, I had the restaurant scene ruined for me. Oh. Somebody on Twitter had a gif of it and I was like, that's amazing. So when I saw it, it didn't have the impact, yeah. which is such a shame. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I really liked the the when his client when she's in the loft and she throws the paint. Yeah, yes. which is what we were saying for one of my favorite all time is in the Conjuring where the sheet blows off and it wraps around it the person. Brief, yeah, because they do the, that. That happens in this. Um, she throws the blanket. It, it um, does yeah. happen. And there's like flower she throws, isn't she, or something? Oh yeah, because it's the feet. And the you flower see the... in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah, I've got no, goosebumps. I've got all, like... I've, yep, I've got goosebumps. Um, mm. Because and it's just like how the she quickly yeah. uh, moves the camera down and you see it like coming towards her me and dad were literally just like oh, no front, no front. <laughs> <laughs> literally oh, God. yeah because it's the the um the filters as well mm. we were talking about the snake face I sent me at the beginning oh which was hilarious <laughs> oh, um, and it's when she's crying and it comes back on I was just like yeah. I can't that's too funny but I tell you what really and I it, it's one that kind of got a gift quite a lot is the mask filter. Yeah. And it reminded me of Twin Peaks. Um, yes. In a kind of very strange, uh, like bizarre way. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Like when Laura Palmer's face like peels off and it's like... Peels like, off. It kind of just, I don't know, it's, it probably wasn't done intentionally. It just kind of something that just sparked off an mm-hmm. idea. And I just, I loved it. Because at first I was like, oh, is that like demon and then realized the filters were still on and i was like oh, i yeah. love that so much mm, like yeah. again as we were saying it's like a kind of modern translation of a lot of typical tropes that just mm-hmm. it, oh, just just top notch man top notch yeah. definitely yeah. yeah i definitely think um that use of like the filter really like because he's sort of got like a little bit of like comedy relief with it when she's like snake crying. That, but like that, when it's standing honestly... in the kitchen and it's kind of like a creepy sort of like happy cheruby baby face, yeah. is it? I was like... It, kind of, it was almost a little Ooh. bit like Guy Fawkesy ish I don't yeah. know. It was, it was very yeah. strange. I loved it. But um, like you say, the filter when it comes on, she's crying. Yeah. It just, I was howling. I love it. And I love any horror film that makes me absolutely terrified and makes me laugh considering laughter it, it if you laugh at something you are therefore no longer scared of it mm. so the fact that you can laugh at something and still be scared unless you're like hysterical is, <laughs> yeah do you know what i mean <laughs> that i think that's really yeah. a, a feat i somehow feel like, like if i was breaker, do you know what I mean? yeah um, if i was faced with a werewolf i don't think i could like laugh my way out of it oh i could <laughs> i think it depends yeah. on the werewolf depends how nice the hair is because well, if we're talking dog there. soldiers, I ain't going to be laughing. <clears throat> no. If we're talking Van Helsing, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And something that I thought was really interesting that we were saying about before about, like, the sort of practicalness of it all um, was I was reading about before they filmed, they did an actual seance over Zoom. Nope. Yep. So they did an actual seance and apparently like there were some spooky things that went on and their, some of their reactions from that seance are in the film, the film ones. Um, So that's genuine genuine. fear we see. Genuine, actual, bona fide fear. And to that is they all had slightly edited scripts. So Uh, they didn't know how, like what would happen to the other characters. So nice. when they saw like their demise, um, this is, it's all like, you know, it's like seeing it for the first time, real time, real time. Hey, yeah, that's I I do I like love that. Shit like I like that. that. Sorry, I like that way like of that. filmmaking. Um, like there's a I don't like I'm not condoning like scaring your actors beyond themselves and causing them like you know emotional trauma distress. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if everybody's yeah. up for it and happy and you can do it in a safe way, like, that kind of, like, not misleading, but, like, not necessarily, like, giving all the information, I think is, mm. like, a really interesting way because you're going to get mm. somewhat of a more genuine reaction from it. Yeah. Um, I did yeah. quite like the whole, when there's something surrounding a film like that as well. 
Like the seance stuff. Absolutely yeah. not. No. Yeah. No, no, no. No. No, thanks. Wouldn't catch me doing Hard that. Hard pass. But um, kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, Cannibal Holocaust, where the director basically, like, paid all his actors to go into hiding afterwards. Yeah. Um, and then had to prove that he didn't actually kill that them didn't off kill in, him off, in yeah. a rainforest. Um, oh, good times. Just, just like, fun shit like that. I'm, yeah. I'm a sucker for I think it's great. You said yeah. that about the Holocaust. Yeah. <laughs> Moving a, a cannib- on. Cannibal yeah. Holocaust. Fictional film. Yep. Not real. Didn't kill anybody. Yep. Like... Yeah. Pure tangent. Sorry for that. It's okay. I'll allow it. Yeah. No, but it's true. It's like... I mean, the prime example of a fan footage film that had, I think, the best marketing yes. campaign in cinema... Yes. Blair Witch Project. You know, when you've got that surrounding the film... <clears throat> sorry. Um, it... Yeah. It just... It adds so much more to it. And knowing that, I already yeah. like the film more. Like, knowing that they did that seance, knowing that their scripts were different, it adds so much yeah. more to the experience. I think I you think. get, like, a really level good. of the film being, like, a spectacle as well as being, like, just a film experience. Mm. And also it just gives that, like, a little bit more authenticity to, like... Again, similarly to, like, Ghost mm. Watch and Blair Witch. Mm. Blair Witch has the best marketing campaign yeah. ever. Yeah. Revolutionary. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. No doubt. Um, no doubt. I really like it's kind of different but Cloverfield's marketing campaign Mm -hmm. was a lot of fun you know people like trying to find clips online and various websites that kind of built up this bizarre world um it's like I think there was like an energy drink or something um where if you went to go buy it it gave you a clip I don't know I can't remember but just stuff like that I think just a genius way of bringing your audience into the world of the film um and again just putting it in zoom it's just inspired absolutely inspired yeah it is Um, and i love it yeah uh the only the only thing that i kind of felt bad in this film i felt really bad for salem Mm. i felt so bad for her they you know Gemma was just purely taking the piss yeah there's no need for that we all know Mm -hmm. a Gemma, don't we though um she did nothing wrong, bless her. Yeah, she's you just know. doing her job. Mm. Just okay. Tesco yeah. delivery arrived halfway through, but you know. That was, that was about to say do? that scared me. So, oh, it's just the groceries, <laughs> and I was like, "Forgot woman, please." God damn. God damn. Um, but I just felt really sorry for her. Like you know, she was just there. You know, they'd asked to have yeah. a seance, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Okay." Yeah, doing, a, doing job a job with a shitty internet, which we've all been there. Yeah, I mean, I assume she lives like out in a forest uh-huh. somewhere, so it's probably not great service. Probably, um, you know, and she was really nice. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I just she was kind, so wasn't she? Um, fuck Gemma. I hated Gemma's that fella. A... Fuck Gemma Teddy. and fuck the guy yeah, as well. He was a bit of a dick. Mm. Um, dickhead. I like when he the... kept doing up with the tequila, doing this. I was just like, yeah. <sighs> You twat. I'm glad you met his that was, as soon as you I what, said it. Bun, I was like, mm. Ill. Yeah, but it was a joke about that. Yeah. I did appreciate. I did appreciate. Um, but I, I thought his death was. Oh shit! Mm. It was metal. Was metal. Um, <laughs> and his girlfriend as well. <sighs> yeah. Damn. Like that was good. I like his other misdirection a... with like the creepy puppet that kept like when he kept like dancing it in. Yeah, because yeah. it comes in when Emma's like crying and yeah. like in hysterics, right? <laughs> so, yep. and he's just there like, <laughs> <laughs> literally that and the creepy music <gasps> box, anything like like kids music boxes, puppets, oh. dolls, yeah. and like, like haunted kids, yeah, haunted kids, shit, kid shit me. is the worst <laughs> kind <laughs> of haunted just... stuff. Yeah. As soon as he said it, it was yeah. like, oh, it scared me as a kid. I was like, nah, mm-hmm. that's bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's bait. <laughs> that's bait. <laughs> um, so obviously, when it started playing, when he's in the, it's like a barn or a garage, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah like an outhouse, I was just thing, like, bye bye. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> you gonna die now, Teddy? <laughs> you gonna die now? You gonna um, die now? I did not no, mourn that died, loss. I thought the way that he died was very impressive, just from like a technical standpoint. Mm. Like, yeah. Like hundred percent. Yeah. The you know the oh, just. Again, this is what baffles me. Like, it didn't cut away and his face was on fire. Yeah. Mm. 
You know, like maybe it really was like manage... maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe he went method. We do we know if he's okay? Has anyone spoken? <laughs> Fully to him? method. I can't say I know him personally. I'm afraid. Um, mm. So I'm not part of the man oh, bun um, man bun club. So I don't know. Yeah. They have like I a group chat. So. It's it's probably a group Snapchat. If I had to guess. Yeah. <laughs> do, do right. <laughs> they had oh, kick God. back in the day. Niche. Mm-hmm. It feels a bit. <laughs> feels a bit seedy. <laughs> well, very much so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, this took a turn. Um... Are we shocked? No, we're not. No, not at the slightest. So we'll turn back round again. Um, and we'll talk more method. So yeah. before they watched the film, um, they also watched a bunch of. Oh, they're horror films? Sorry, before they watched them, before they were in the film, the actors uh, watched a bunch mm-hmm. of horror films, um, including Hostel and Bone Tomahawk, which we uh, were only talking about recently. Grim. Yep. Grim. Grim. Fuck. Grim. Uh, I think they're really mm-hmm. interesting um, films to, like, get your actors to watch, because they're, like, they're, like, a specific yeah. breed of horror. Puts you in a very vulnerable place. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and I think you yeah. can, I can kind of see where they were going with it yeah. because both of those films psychologically mm-hmm. put you specifically yeah. in that spot yeah. of, oh my God, what would I do in this position? And yeah. I think as well, like, they're going to like wear you out a bit as well. They're like, a, they're like an exhaustive they're a... film. Yeah. They're tiring to watch and it's those kind of things it will take its toll mm-hmm. on you and exactly like you said, it puts you in that position and it's that kind of vulnerability because I I can't watch stuff like Hostel. I'm just not yeah. not my jam, not my type of horror. But you watch it, and it's it's like you said that exhausting fear mm-hmm. that you feel of watching this yeah. happen to someone else, and also yeah. thinking, what if it happened to me? Both of which they would have to do. They'd have to see these horrible things happen to their buddies yeah. on that call, and also and not like, knowing. So they've got the fear of not knowing what's going to happen to everybody else. Yeah. And obviously, like, there's a lot of trust there between them and um, Rob Savage and everybody else, like, on the team. That they, they, like, trust that what they're going to see isn't going to be, like, horrendous. Yeah. Testament to him as a director, to be fair. To get that like, trust. They have yeah, that, for sure. that level of trust to do that. Because you keep, you know, especially, that, like, recently, that there's loads of stories that come out about really bad, you know, work relationships and being treated really poorly and... Um, but there are also stories of like really good, respectful. Obviously, all should be respectful, but like particularly respectful um, casting choices and like like staff casting choices as well, not just like actors for mm. particular scenes and things like that, which I think is a really I think, like I think positive for horror, step for horror, especially. It's I'd say more important yeah. to have a specific team um, behind the camera as well as on the screen like you say just because there is that level of vulnerability um Mm -hmm. and credit to them because what a fucking experience (laughs) Um, yeah 100 percent. yeah absolutely like you say again bone tomahawk what what a film to pick to to get your actors ready holy shit no no man um (laughs) no man as we said before the noises in that film specifically yeah yeah ne- will never leave my brain ever. that's probably like, some terrifying. of like the most haunting sound design like yeah in the last like 20 30 years mm. 100%. it's the scrape it's the scraping mm. it's what gets me um mm. so but like, just like say on the sound aspect of this like i loved just like the random thuds mm. And just they were very clearly in the background. Yeah. But you you had no idea whereabouts from behind the camera they came from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and like you say, that negative space, you were you were very vulnerable watching that. You were constantly like shit, shit, mm. shit. I've got a million different backgrounds to look at mm. right now. Yeah, um, it's almost like it's not hard to keep up, but you you can't focus on everything at once. Yeah. So there's a lot so that when, you're gonna miss. So when Alan's body drops next to Redina. Yeah. You are completely yeah. caught off guard because yeah. he's he's disappeared. He's gone. You, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. He's not in play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
shit a brick <laughs> gone yeah just for real excellent excellent sort of just use of a jump scare yeah um that, that again had no mm. actual jump typically yeah <laughs> This is it. Like, si- signscapes in horror are, like, huge. Mm-hmm. Look at horror scores. Look at everything to do with sound design and sound editing to remove such a, a vital and intrinsic part of what makes things scary that gives people those cues, that tells people how they're going to feel in 10 seconds. And to remove that and not give your audience, not to throw them a bone, if you like, in, and still elicit that reaction. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't miss it either. I didn't wants to go oh this yeah. feels like it needs you know some cello halloween soundtrack yeah. <laughs> in the background yeah like i'm not sat here on a zoom call with you guys thinking you know what i could do with lo-fi beats <laughs> always, like, always no. need lo-fi it, beats it, it, yeah it makes it yeah. feel so much more real girl, doesn't it because it's on soundtrack yeah. um, well, i like that everybody <laughs> listens to that playlist <laughs> It's great. Yeah. It's great. Um, yeah, but it, like you say, it completely great, adds like, the realism and also the sort of like escapism of like forgetting that you're almost watching a film and that you're not just like almost yeah. a part of this Zoom yeah. call. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I just, again, I, I'm just so impressed with it. Uh, and yeah, the first time that I watched it, I was just in sheer terror. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically. The second time, which was last night, I just. I enjoyed it a lot more because I knew what was coming, mm. but I could appreciate like everything mm. in the backgrounds as well. Yeah. Um, I also yeah, think the just... fact that it was like um, it didn't hit cinemas was like a massive bonus it's, for it. It's out in cinemas today. Yeah, well, it's cinemas <laughs> today. But obviously it's been shudder for up until yes. now. Um, yeah. And I think that, I think I get more benefit from it watching it at home than on a big screen. I, I, yeah. You're not going to zoom no. in a cinema, are you? Yeah. But you'll zoom in your office or in your bedroom or in your... <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. You know what I mean? Like, you'll... Yeah. You'll... In, in your own, in your own <laughs> home. Yes. It, in your it, own yes. environment. It is yeah. a little bit, in a way, this uh, kind of secret cinema-esque yeah. without all the expensive over yeah. fanciness. Yeah. Um, you know, you are watching a Zoom call in your house. You've yeah. done that yeah. however many times. Rah, rah. That is the appeal of it. And yeah. it just... It nails it. Um, mm-hmm. I would be interested to see it in the cinema. And see I think how... I'd go again and and I'd, t- I'd make that effort yeah. to go and watch it in the cinema. Just to see how well it yeah, lands in sure. terms of that mm. size uh, of a screen. Um, and especially without a soundtrack as well. It'd be interesting to see how that, in how the cinema, that sort yeah. of empty space yeah. plays out. Yeah. Um, Obviously, you then can, you get I the benefit imagine... then of like a better sound system and all better sort yeah. of things like that they can use to their advantage. Yeah, so like all the thuds mm. and stuff. Especially if you do it like um, they did it um, with us really well, where yeah. certain noises and sounds came out of certain speakers in certain areas. Mm. So you get like a much more of like a surrounded feeling. Like a 3D kind of yeah. uh, experience I'd, I'd be very interested to see what that's like mm. um can't say i'd be keen on seeing that screaming face popping up <laughs> at me on that size of a screen um because shit myself so, <laughs> you know that's the thing isn't it like there's different genres of i i knew from the outset that i was going to really like this film because there are different genres mm-hmm. of horror that different people love and different and it's weird because if you love something it's also the thing that scares you the most Bizarre. which is you know <laughs> so have you don't deal well with like body horror the walls. people in the yeah. walls you hate that it doesn't really I know. elicit I know anything in me i'm like you Sorry. know what no no rewind, rewind. <laughs> body horror sure cool people in the walls yeah I take that for granted because I just yeah you've yeah, heard it so yeah. many times that you just think it's normal now <laughs> yeah yeah that is like my my number one fear in the entire world is the idea that someone it's fine in the UK because our walls are too brick thick so it's absolutely yes. fine I'm aware of this but it's the idea that someone could be living in your loft or if you're in the if your house so permits crawl space and between yeah. the things and you have <clears throat> no idea and so you could just about parasite 
horrible. Right, Parasite. I'm like, <laughs> let's watch this. This is going to be incredible. So I'm like, yep, this is amazing. Scariest thing I have seen in years is when the little boy is at the fridge and yeah. he sees what he thinks is the ghost and it's just the face. I, I was like, oh, shit. I'm just going to pause that. Go and have a little cry and then I'll come back. <laughs> See, that's Those like... eyes did creep yeah. me the fuck out. I was like... like... Honestly, like heart in mouth, like, ugh. but that was okay afterwards because he lives in like a bunker that they built. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. that's fine. It's it's not like an actual. Yeah, it's always room. it's always it. boiled back down. There was like a story about someone who started noticing things, and then they go out. They'd spilt like a bag of rice, but they were like late to go to work, so they went. And when they came back, it had been cleaned up, but no one had been in the house. That's very, very considerate. So they checked it yeah. and someone had been living in the loft, in like a portioned off part of the loft for something like three years without them knowing. And they'd found an access point into the house. So when they were out, they would come into the house and shower and eat. And then they would just like use the house at night when they were asleep. And I've like never recovered from that story. And also from the first Narnia book where they use the lofts in the terrace house to go all the way along the top. Because you used to be able to in English properties. All the houses were connected via their loft space. So you could just get into someone else's house. And that's why I'm scared of people in the walls. I mean, fair. Yeah. Yeah. I want to... uh, Yeah, right? Now you are too. (laughs) When you say people in the walls, I literally... Because, again, very British thing. Yeah. I'm picturing, like, this big of a space and somebody just being there like... Hello. Hello. I'm trapped. (laughs) Yeah. No, but, um, like, I... That's more terrifying. Yeah. (laughs) No, completely get it. Yeah, Um, so I've got to have, like, a lock on the outside of my loft because I'm, like... Actually, about 28 weeks later... Because there's a bit where she's living um, out quite well. Just saying. Okay ish. Because that, that creeped me out. Tell you yeah, that. I mean, the whole Tell thing I'm like is I'm creeped out by. It, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. But like, I can't think if there's any that like particularly. Um, just a general. Creeped me out. But because I don't want. I, I don't see. Well, there's one coming out about H.H. About Holmes. What? So. There's, there's a film coming out oh, soon, I think, about H.H. Holmes. So yeah. we're gonna yeah. go see that. Yeah. I'll come with you. Hold it your hand. Home, it's the original American serial killer. Oh, yeah, he built the house, the right. hotel. Murder hotel. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. American horror story. I'm yeah, hotel. <laughs> yeah, I actually really liked that one. Not gonna lie. Uh, That's a whole nother kettle of fish. If we're getting onto that topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, getting back to scary Zoom yeah. calls. Um. See, that would be what? the thing that would, like, shit me up if you were like, oh, yeah, we're at home alone. And then someone just, like, passed in the background. I'd be like, mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's exactly it. So, like, they're the things that scare her. For me, it's, yeah. like, demonic possession. That is my absolute and scariest eye thing. slicing. So if you put that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't do well with eyes. Oh. Don't like it. But if you... Demonic possession to me is the scariest horror thing. Zombies, fine. Werewolves, fine. Body horror, love it. Zombies, no, yeah. not zombies. They're fine. <laughs> Where did that come from? Yeah. Demonic possession shits me up every time. So I was like, as soon as I knew it was like a seance, I was like, really yeah. intrigued to see how they do it. I think yeah. they did it really well. Yeah, because really seance is like one of the oldest tricks in the book in terms of like a horror yes. trope. But like they brought that. But because, like... Yeah, but because you, you have that expectation of. We're going to be sat in a circle. We're yeah. going to be chanting. We're going to do say this. No, no, no. But because it isn't, it just feels so fresh. Yeah. Um, Definitely. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. That's and, the exact word. Yeah. It's fresh I just, take. I couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. You know? Oh, right. Um, what are your big fears, Eamon? We have talked about ours. Horror fears, not just general fears. Horror fears. Um, <laughs> yeah. I. Taxes. Being an dead, but... <laughs> Taxes. Yeah. Tax return mm-hmm. is coming up. Terrified. Um, no, I Tatman. really fucking hate spiders. Oh, well, you love Spider Man. I know the irony. Um, You're a complicated boy. I tell me something I don't. Know. <laughs> um, so like anything, like 
to be honest, recent episode of Mandalorian with those huge ice spiders. No, 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 no. I was going to say, did you hate that? Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. If it's got more legs than I have, I don't want to know. What about like a dog? See, yeah, but... Like a puppy. Okay, we're talking... Or a cat. You know, like multiple legs, not like four. You know. All right, all right. More than two. Not quadrupedal. So. We're talking. Yeah. All right, five legs or more. Don't want to know. <laughs> Who's got five, five legs? <laughs> okay. No. Um, but like, yeah. So like creature stuff. Mm-hmm. I really like, you know, when you see practical creature effects. Yes. They're great. Yeah. And quite often yeah. they're the things that scare me the most because they look so fucking terrifying. Yeah. Um, I think they're more tactile as well, aren't they? Like, there's a lot yes, more to but... them than just a green screen. Mm. Yeah. But like insects and stuff like that, when they're put into a, a horror sort of lens, mm-hmm. I think they can they make my skin crawl so much. Creepy crawlies. Um, for example, uh, to say it's bizarre because it's in the second one, directed by fucking Chris Columbus, Harry fucking Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, right, I'm sorry. That oh, shit, yeah. whole sequence is terrifying. Oh, like, in a big way. And that's a PG. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> pretty, pretty gross. gross. It's, I, I'll tell you what it is. It's the eyes. It's the, it's that. It's yeah. just so big. And the eyes are massive. So, in short, spiders creep me out. Um, you'll never catch me watching arachnophobia. Ever. <laughs> Won't happen. Eight-legged <laughs> freaks? Fuck off. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Um, that's, that's the title of the episode, episode. <laughs> like, fuck off. honestly um, but, like it's weird because stuff like the thing which again is very kind of insect like mm-hmm. um in places love it can't get enough you know it's weird um it chapter two for its flaws don't oh, get me yeah. wrong the scene where his fucking head starts sprouting legs in a very it sense uh, the thing sense yeah. Couldn't get enough of it. Loved it, in fact. But, I don't know, man. Spiders creep me the fuck out. Mm-mm. I can oh, tell you no. why if you want. I know why. Because humans are trained, uh, have like evolved to be scared of something bigger than them in the past. The spiders aren't bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Did they used to be? There was a massive shift in the 19th <laughs> century. <laughs> in the 19th century about... 18th and 19th century about how humans perceived spiders so in loads of natural histories they were described as literally god god's print on earth in terms of the perfectness of their webs um, and how industrious they were um, and how intelligent they were but then there was a massive shift in gothic fiction into they're not intelligent they're actually conniving and they're not they're not industrious they're actually really tricksy and they trap their prey. And there's this massive, massive um, narrative of massive spiders, particularly the kind of, you know, War of the Worlds? H.G. Wells' yeah, yeah, spider-like yeah. robots representing all the anxieties that people had at the time in terms of colonialism. And they just became these horrible, insidious creatures that were... English spiders were fine because they were tiny and small, but the foreign ones were terrible. And it became this narrative of, like, you should be scared of them. You should. They're terrifying. Look at them. Look at those eyes. And then there was a massive shift in how spiders were perceived. And now everyone thinks they're grim. You know, Love I can, that. Deal, Love I can that. deal with spiders in the house. And by the way, excellent <laughs> history lesson. That was great. I can't. Love that. That was, that was me. I'm going to let you do that every episode. Tarantulas? I, yeah, I will love that. Tarantulas? <laughs> nah. Huntsman? No, gross. <laughs> couldn't think of anything fucking worse. No. <laughs> Camel spiders. <laughs> Have you seen them? <laughs> Come on now, let's not. That's going to be not. the best noise. He's like popped up. Oh, he did. He was then. like, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a Dorito. Um, yeah. So, I, a complete tangent. This is nothing to do with a scary Zoom call whatsoever. Um, a family friend's daughter lives in Australia. And she was like, oh, you should have like a year off. And you should go traveling. And you should go do this. And I was like, A, fucking Sandra. I'm pale as shit. If I go to Australia, <laughs> oh, you'd be like true, your boy's going to just crisp up. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Nah. Crispy I dry. like autumn. Autumn is my prime season. I like layers. You should go to like... You know layers. what's up. You know, where is it like? Iceland? Massachusetts? Norway? Sure. Yeah. Boston? Yeah. Gimme. You know? 
lost. I love Boston. I really, I really want to go to Boston. Oh, it's um, nice. It's nice. Yeah, I, I got that. And yeah. the fall. It's bomb. <laughs> Sold. Um, Sorted. Australia. Couldn't think of anything worse. No, everything he wants to bad. kill you in Australia. Everything wants to kill you, right? I had a friend who went and did, like, bar jobs across the country. She went travelling, rah, rah, rah. She drove somewhere, and there was this huge field and forest, whatever, covered in webs. Gigantic uh, webs. Like, no. you, know, you know how you see, like, sheets no. over, like, fucking furniture and whatever? Think of that, yeah. but trees and webs. Nope, done. No. No. Sorry. She was like, oh, yeah, but Grim. they're not everywhere. It doesn't matter if they're not everywhere. They still live Sandra. in the same place. They're still there. It's when they see them picking up like their their bin lids, and it's just the size of it, and you're like, "Well, Any that has to go on check fire." The toilet. Your shoes. Go... Yeah. Stop! I'm wearing slippers. This is freaking. <laughs> oh. Is there something tickling your toes, Eamon? What's that in the background, Heather? <laughs> Somebody in your wall. <laughs> right. I had a survey on my house. I know how but that's my it. bricks are, so. Mm. <laughs> Alright, sly brag. I know how to take my bricks off. Because every time I try and put a shelf up, <laughs> it fucks it all wow. up. Yeah. I know how thick yeah. my bricks are. <gasps> that feels like it should be a euphemism somehow, and I'm not sure what I. <laughs> I'm going to start using it as one, though. Christ. Anyway, let's circle back around. But that, the facts. This is it. The fact that even though we yes. have very distinct, me, me excluded, because that is like my Achilles heel, people have such distinct yep. fears. Like, you're terrified. There's no spider to be seen in that film, and it still terrified you. You still kind of mm. cross genres. Because I know people that just aren't bothered yeah. by demonic possession, would do a seance every weekend. Crazy people. They need but Jesus. are still scared by that. Yeah concept and that that's a good horror film you know that's that's oh. that's great i think that it can kind of yeah. transcend the those subgenres it creeps me out as well like um, like you're just um, asking for like bad things you to are come asking in. for trouble you're literally um, inviting them jordan peele yeah jordan peele in us has the quote that i think sums up all the horror films when winston duke goes this is some yes. white people shit yep and that is literally yep. every horror film <laughs> i'm like he said yep. that and i was like it's oh, okay. so true that's exactly yeah. right um, and Post is exactly that. <laughs> yeah. More people's mums Pri- need to tell them white girl goes, goes, hey, let's all do a seance. This yeah. seems like a good idea. No. 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 Hayley. No. no. Moral of the story. Just do a quiz. Just do a yeah. quiz. Do a quiz. No Just do a quiz. Nobody's going to get the no. face burnt off doing a bloody quiz. Don't Depending build on how extreme a Ouija the board are, out of a Scrabble board. Don't do a seance. Especially not over the internet, because, like, you don't know you're what just, quality you're getting. You're just asking for trouble, man. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. Just play words yeah. with friends instead. Just do drinking games with friends. It's so much easier. Yeah. Come on. Um, don't... I, I tell you what I do really like, though, is that the lie creates a persona. Yeah. I did really like yeah. that. It wasn't just a, this is a very specific demon that has come to get us. Yeah. It's like, oh, this entity has actually twisted your own joke back on you. Yeah. History lesson with Georgie. That's based yes. on the Tulpa myth. Oh, I love a Tulpa. I believe. Man. So if enough... Yeah. I love a Tulpa. Yeah, if enough people real. believe in something, manifest. it will therefore yeah. manifest. So four people yeah. making a tulpa, not really enough for it to be, but that's beside the point. I think it's a really interesting, like you said, it's not like a targeted thing. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm here now. Kind of, I love that that idea. It's a really yeah. cool thing to mix in with um, it. I, and I just yeah. love the imagery that comes with it, the, the whole hanging thing. So when it possesses mm-hmm. uh, Ginny, or it grabs Ginny mm. uh, over the pool, instantly you're like she's being hung like yeah. you know yeah um yeah. i'd love to know how they managed that like practically mm. yeah that's, that's like at home practical effects you know is it mean? really to, and then drop her in the pool yeah that's i mean the, although <laughs> practically they had the biggest outdoor space true everybody else yeah. is in like flats and houses mm-hmm. and they've got the pool and all the space and then he's in the barn so yeah. there's a good space for a bit of rigging. Yeah, that's. When you got to assume it's like a standard harness through the back. Surely, and then... surely. Yeah. Um, surely. 
There's no other way I can unless yeah. she's like comply. I In don't know. Teachers. Yeah, that, let that'd us know. Be quite handy. Um, yeah. That would save me so <laughs> much money on train yeah. tickets. <laughs> yeah, big move. So... Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I loved that entire sequence in the barn yeah. and over the pool. Yeah. I thought that was that was masterfully done. I think that was possibly yeah, one of the beautiful. creepiest moments. Um, as we were saying earlier with the the music box. Yeah. Um, that was a standout moment for me. Uh, that and the loft. Yeah, I think the loft was the one for me. Yeah, um, as well as um the the loop. Mm. I did that. like that it kept coming back as well. Yeah. Because you talk, I was like, oh, there she is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, there's her face. Oh, no, it's not her. Yeah. Oh, okay. The thing with, like, the lost sequence, everything's yes, scarier is. with a torch. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, you we will were playing, never I was catch them using a torch because recently, they're terrifying. And you use the light of a uh, video camera and it's all yellow and it's, it's all, like, white and green. And I was like, hey, 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 I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's like uh, even on yeah. fucking Call of Duty, the new zombies. Yeah. You know, there's a bit yeah. when you just you have to. As run soon as you a have to rely a torch, on the torch, it yeah. creeps me out every time. Yeah. You know? Or um, no. Polaroid. No. That was the other one. Camera flash. That was that was cool. I yeah. Did yeah. Like that. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. I can't think where, but just that sort of you're constantly waiting for the shit. What did you see? What yeah. did you see? What did you see? Jojo's no, it's not. Adventure. It's not the wild adventure of Jojo. It's in loads it's of. It's not the things. weird adventures he, he, of, he, of um, Jojo. Of no, Jeremy. Of Jezza. Jezza's wild adventures. The budget for that film. <laughs> Je- Jezza's weekend up. Weekend at Jezza's. The budget for that film was thirty-five thousand dollars. Wow. Yep. And it grossed. How can you gross it? Well, you know, it grossed two hundred and forty-eight point wow. six. Well, it'll have had its premiere in cinemas elsewhere i would think and then it's uh vod yeah. as well hmm. yeah well, yeah so it was basically it yeah. cost 35k dollars um shot by the students yeah. on handheld video cameras over genius a just shows you that like you're you're sort of only like restricted by what you can like imagine i mean obviously like i'm 35k but you know um, yeah, house, house but it's like it, you don't have to have the big budget to make an amazing horror film. I like mm. a real, authentically practical, physical horror film. Gritty yeah. and something that I is like unknown not... actors in my horror films. We like, say this every yeah. single time we talk about it, give me an unknown every time. Every single time, because we attach the yeah. the identity of the star. With the character. Yeah, because if you're going to put like Mads Mickelson in yeah. it and he gets injured, I'm going to be like, oh, my baby. Or if he dies, I'm going to just switch off and not pay any attention afterwards. <laughs> it's true, because I really realised the other day that I have seen all of Rogue One. I thought I turned it off, Ooh. but I hadn't. It's because he died. I was like, yeah. it will. Oh, Rogue One. What a Amazing. Film. It's all right. I really enjoy it. It's just I don't know, like I like the concept. I like that it has a um sad ending, same as yep. host. Because not everything has to have a happy tied up ending. No. We say this every time. And we time. say this every time as well. Yeah, happy like endings whole... suck. Yeah. Get make yeah. me uh, miserable. I don't mind some. God. If I feel like if they've been really put through the ringer, mm. then I'm happy that like someone survives. Especially if it's if like someone a, who's nice fine, and they have a good dog. If there's a final girl at the end of it. You know? Yeah. Maybe. Whoop, whoop. Ready, yeah, ready or not. You fucking read my mind. Yeah. You read my mind. Yeah. That oh, film was incredible. Great. Yeah, because you love badass. her. Because she goes through so much that she didn't want, didn't invite, isn't a bad person. And so didn't you're actively thrilled. go looking. Yeah. Didn't actively set up a fucking yeah. seance. Yeah, it's like um, you're next. She just wants yeah. to go and like meet her boyfriend's family yeah. or whatever. Um. All that sort of thing. Yeah. Have, have you seen it? Stains no, of Sam's yeah. Red. No. It's it's one of those films. It's she. Um, no, <laughs> but like, Spoiler well, you don't know actually because it's a really ambiguous ending. Yeah, it's right. it's really ambiguous. But you know when you see someone go through so much yeah. and you're rooting for them, it's oh, it's I really recommend it. It's horrific and funny at the same time. On the list. And Harry on the list. Maybe we will reconvene. What I would we'll say, do another one. just 
just on host very quickly. It is on Shudder, obviously, now. Yes. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can mm-hmm. get a week's trial for free. Ah, very good. Are they still oh, doing wow, their That's extended cool. um, free trial for 30 days? Uh, it, I don't know. I just... They were doing it over lockdown. They might have continued while we're in um... the second bit. But they were doing their seven day, and then like on the sixth day, they send you an email and say oh. you can have a month. Cause Interesting. They're... Yeah. Yeah. So they're good eggs. I like sugar, and they they got a good little. I love them. We've got less yeah, than a minute. Do you want to? So uh, we've talked about host. Um, thank you again to Eamon for being our wonderful guest again. Thank you for having me. It's been Welcome. A pleasure as always. Always, always. Um, and hopefully we'll see you again soon for some more spooky chats. Cool. Stay safe out there, everybody. Be good. Bye. Bye. Bye.